What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Cricket 19. Almost said FIFA 19, but it's Cricket 19, not FIFA 19. And we'll be continuing the Bangladesh tour, Pakistan tour of Bangladesh. We've got the first T20. I am the captain of the T20 side, and like I promised, that bitch, Sadali, he's not. He's not. You're out. No. Turn around, out the door. Don't even look back. You're gone, all right? The rest of you are fine for now. Drop another catch and you'll be going home as well. He's on fire, fantastic performance. Oh, what a leap, takes a superb catch. What a win, that's done it. The whole team running over to celebrate. Good afternoon and welcome. Alright, Bangladesh versus Pakistan. First T20 at the Dhaka Stadium. Someone said the stadium is not real. Well, uh, what do you want me to do? I'm not an architect, uh, engineer, uh, the guy who builds stuff. I, that guy. You know? <laughs> oh boy. I'm not an architecture. Alright, what do you want me to do? Build a new stadium? That's what they've given me, so. I'm gonna play there. What do you, you know? Anyways, plus I don't get to de decide which Heading stadium I play in. It's the career the mode. They choose everything for you, you know? Uh, but yeah, anyways, Pakistan have elected or chosen heads because I love getting heads, but the problem is I never do get them. And I didn't just mean the coin toss. Yeah, exactly, that kind of head. Anyways, uh, they've chosen to bat first, which I do not mind because I am a bowling machine. So. You know, you can bat first all you want, but guess what? I'm going to be bowling. That was one of the dumbest statements I probably made, because when you're batting, obviously the opponent is bowling. I mean, come on. Really? Really? Did I really need to say that? But I've said it now, so fuck it in. I'm not even going to edit it out. I'm going to leave it in. Also, I've left Sarfaraz Ahmed in, because a lot of you miss him, apparently. I don't know why, but you guys miss him, so... There, I brought him back in. I'm just joking, obviously. He's our captain in real life. I get it. That's why you miss him. But yeah. Um, I also am playing Rezwan, by the way. But he's playing as a regular fielder. Because he's our, our top rated, uh, rated uh, player. He's 93 rated. I think he is the highest rated player. So, Also, a lot of you are complaining about the ratings of the player. I can't do anything about that. Just like I can't do anything about the stadium. There's nothing I can do about the ratings as well in career mode in career mode i don't make anything the game does everything you see is automatic the game does this the stadiums are selected by the game the ratings are selected by the games the lineups are selected by the games i don't do any of that all right watch me get absolutely obliterated yep didn't even have to finish that word the game was like i'll take it from here thank you very much but yeah this is what i was talking about in the last video you know it's quite easy for some reason to take wickets in uh, ODIs and uh, tests, but in T20 I just find it really hard, which is kind of the opposite in real life. But anyways, got spanked fast delivery into the game. Yep. Oh, it's a lovely <laughs> shot, Imral Kays. It's my arch nemesis, Imral Kays. He's so good. He's the only one really who can play that short delivery, you know? The rest are idiots. They all get out. To that delivery but him this every single time I've bowled it to him he's smashed me so so far he's winning the battle although I am winning the game so there's that it's like the Ben Stokes and I had that see what I mean yes. every single time every single time he plays it properly like comfortably he has no problem playing that shot or that delivery both I don't know you get the point <laughs> Tommy McBall and he pulls it away as well into the gap it's gone. Four runs. Lovely shot that is. Loves the cow corner. He loves it, mate. Are you going to get some milk? Nope. He's gone over. 
square, but I've got a square and okay. Let's add another name to the blacklist. Who's he? I mean, congratulations, Tommy McPyle, but really, you should be in the dugout. You should be walking back because that was a catch and that prick just stepped over the rope. So let me get his name and you can wave your international career. Bye bye. Look at where you are. It's Hamad. It's, ha it's fucking Hamad Azam, the guy that I actually know in real life. You know what? I love you in real life, but you can fuck off in the game. And again, catch it. Hamad, why? Why are you so shit? Why did you stop running at the ball? You got. So I'm counting that as a drop catch because if he had not stopped running, you would have caught that. But he stopped running for no reason, like a mug. And then that fucking bullshit happens. Ah, uh, thing is, I. It's pissing me off and it's not good for my head because I'm sick, man. Hamad, redeem your... Okay, that's gone over. <laughs> that's a genuine six. Tommy McBall, we hardly know you, mate. You prick. Come on. You know I'm the captain of Peshawar Zalmi too. You, do you want to get benched? All right, then. Stop hitting me for sixes, you prick. Simral K as he goes after me. Surely that's a catch. Hamad, go on. Redeem yourself. Please don't tell me it's Hamad Azam, because I swear to God, I'm going to beat him up right there, then and there. Well, again! Yo, check his pockets, he's taking money, I swear to God, mate. I've bowled so poorly that the game has decided to take me off. Emerald Hayes, another lovely hook. He loves that hook, mate. He's amazing at it. And both of those guys, Tommy McWall and Emerald Case, both are doing great. <sighs> I'm not some thing is he's actually very economical with the ball, so I might give him an over, although I don't really want to, because that prick is just... You know, that's two wickets I should have had. Actually, three now that I think about it. But instead, all of those, th well, two of those were turned into sixes. I mean, one of those, literally, he was like a couple of yards ahead of the rope. And he took it and just stepped back on the rope. Like the last one, I get it, that was a bit close, you know. Still, he should have caught that and been fine. I mean, you're a professional cricketer. For fuck's sake, I could have taken that without going over the rope. But still, that was a bit close. The first one, he's literally a couple of yards in front of the rope. And he takes the catch and takes a couple of steps back over the rope. What the fuck are you doing? Like, this is basic amateur stuff. Has been handed the ball for this. Yeah, catch. Please. Yeah. Yes, oh, finally. Nice oh Good my reactions. god. That's all I asked. That's it. That was all you had to do. See how simple that was? You prick. I mean, you're still going. You're still gone. You're getting the axe, mate. You're gone. I don't care how many catches you take, you're gone. Because you've done that three times now. But actually, that's someone else. That's Hassan Ali. I'm sorry. I, I thought you were a Hamad Azim. <laughs> Just yelled at the wrong guy for no reason. Anyways, Sarkar Saib is here. So uh, let's do this. Should have four bloody wickets, but instead I... That's, that's another four. That's four, yeah. No, that's, that's just four balling, really. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what did I tell you at the start of the game? It's so difficult bowling in a T20, I don't... Whatever, mate, it is what it is. Look at that, 42 runs I've given. Oh, piss off. Alrighty then, Litton Das is hungry for some milk, because guess where he went? He went to the cow corner, that's right. Shitty jokes all day, every day, mate. Anyways, lovely batting, 182 with the loss of only two wickets. Should have been with a loss of like four wickets, but you know, you know, uh, listen, you know, I'm not going to say it. We all know what, what happened. Let's move past it. It's all right. It's in the past. Water under the bridge. No, it's not, mate. Hamad Azam, you fucking prick. You're not, you're, you're, you're dead to me. All right. Yes. All right. First delivery gone. Four runs. 
Wait, did I speak too soon? Okay, four. no, it's gone for four. Ooh, lovely back foot punch. That's gone for four. No need to run after that one, mate. That is lovely technique right there. Lovely timing, lovely placement. A stupendous shot all together. Let's go with it again. All right. It's sort of a slash on the offside. But uh, it's gone for four regardless. Doesn't even matter as long as I get a... A boundary in it. Kaboom! Just like my bat says. But I think it's time for a real kaboom. Oh, was that? Oh shit, there's a fielder. There's a, there's a fucking fielder. Okay, no, we're fine. It's gone for four. Alright, not quite the kaboom I was looking for, but you know, it'll do. It was more like a boom. The Kai is still is not yet there, but it'll arrive. Don't you worry, it's on its way. It's just, you know, running a bit late. It's got a flat tire they had to fix. Oh, what happened to the tire, you ask? It went kaboom! You're too easy, man. <laughs> That's gone. Perfect technique. Do not bother full placing. toss, mate. Full toss, too much room. Just everything wrong with that delivery, man. Too easy. Is that a kaboom? That is a kaboom. Let's go. All the way. Okay, just about, but you know, it'll do. What? 92 meters, and it's just barely cleared the rope. How big is that rope? Well, 92 meters, apparently, but what the... F what? Look at that. It's barely... Like, if there was a fielder there, that would have been a catch. I mean, obviously, if Hamad Azam was there, then it would have been a six, because he's a prick. But you know what I mean. If there was a proper fielder there, that would have been out. 92 meters long boundary. All right, you know what? I accept the challenge. Never on me legs. Never. Never on me legs. All right? Never. How long is that? 92 meters. It ain't shit. 111. How about that? Shit. Inside edge. And it's carried to the keeper. Alright, I'm gone. For 45. Alright. Thing is, I tried to bat really, you know, sort of conservatively in the test. So when I do that, I have to then take it out in the limited overs. And I tried to do that. And I did really well for the most part, but you know. One shot, that's all it takes for a batsman. One shot and you're gone. Done for, innit? But, Babarazm, top form he's in. Next batsman in. Come on, win us the game. I mean, the game's already won, to be honest. And we have won it by nine wickets. Fuckers a still out there with Babarazm. And uh, they're like, yeah, done it, mate. Easy. Easy. What's next? Um, whoa. Fuckers a man. He, look at time. that, got the man of the match, and rightfully so. Um, very good game, although we made it a bit too easy. It shouldn't have been that easy, but you know what? It is what it is, isn't it? Only one, whoa, two wickets, both of them, your yeah, boy was involved. And we've already seen what happened. It should have been more than that, but you know what? Let's not touch that subject. All I'm going to say is, Hamad Azam, I hope you had fun today, because that's it. You're not, you're... All right, moving on. <laughs> so, Fakhazaman, 85, not out of 58. 45 for me of 21, and 51, not out of 30 deliveries. Easy peasy, lemon, Pakistani. What? Um, Rahman got one wicket, and that was mine. But um, I gave him quite a beating, as you can see. Economy rate of 10.5, you know? But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, Emerald K's, though. He's doing really well. That's the guy I'm gonna... One of these days I'm gonna get him out, you know. One of these days. But, um, not sure when that's gonna be. And I mean, like, like when I'm bowling. Because I know I got him out, but that was run out. Not, like, because I wasn't bowling. Goes up. You get the point, man. Anyways. And I'll take the square, man. Get it? Get him? Psh, anyways, cricket feeling. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be game number two of this T20 series. Until then, have a nice...